Hey what's up guys, I'm Matt here and today we have the S13 Max smartwatch which is one of the latest rounder smartwatches which comes with local storage and its design is based on the Huawei watch ultimate. It comes in two colors, we have black and gold combination and silver and gold combination. It comes with many amazing features inside it including a 4GB of storage capacity to store pictures, music and ebooks in the smartwatch. And not just that, you can also record sound on it. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at all of its features. But before we start, if you're new here, a subscribe to the channel will be highly appreciated. So let's get right into it and talk about the S30 Max smartwatch. So here's the box, let's go ahead and find out what comes inside it. First of all, we get the S30 Max smartwatch. Let me get it out. This one is in the silver color. So after that, inside the box, we get another strap. We have the silicone straps here. The watch comes with the stainless steel straps attached to it. We have 22 millimeter straps inside it. Then we have the wireless charger and the user manual to get you started with the smartwatch. It comes in two colors. First, we have the black and gold combination, which looks really luxury. And after that, we have the silver and gold combination, which also looks really good. Which one would be your pick? Let me know in the comment section below. So the smartwatch comes in a metallic frame. We have a combination of black and gold color. It is copying the style of the Huawei Watch Ultimate. So we have the tachymeter on the top but it comes in quite a big size. It comes in 50 millimeter size and looks quite big on the wrist. We have two keys on the right side. The upper one is used to access the menu and to go back and it can also be used to change the watch faces and to scroll anywhere. Then we have the down key which can be used to turn on the screen of dial or to turn on the display. We can also customize the function of the action key. Here we have the click option which opens the exercise modes. Then you can also customize the function on the double click. Currently, it is set to voice assistant. Then we have one key on the left side which can be used to access the sport modes. If you look at the back side, we get the speaker holes and the microphone hole. Then we have wireless charging and health sensors here. Then if you look here, it is using 22 millimeter straps as I mentioned earlier. And you can easily press this pin to get the straps out and use any 22 millimeter straps with it. And here is how both of the colors look on the wrist with both of the straps included in the box. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. My favorite one is the black one with the stainless steel straps. Talking about the chipset, it is using 8763VP chip inside it and overall the chip performance is okay. On some places it looks quite smooth and you can see that the menu is looking really good but on some watch faces it doesn't look so good. Then if you talk about the display it is using a 1.62 inches IPS display because of which the display is visible from all of the sides. I would have really appreciated if it was using the AMOLED display. It would have added great smoothness and great vibrancy to the colors and I would have surely used the screen of dial if it had the AMOLED display. Talking about the screen resolution it is 480 into 480 and overall the text and picture clarity looks good on the watch. Let's take a look at all of the languages supported by it. It only supports a few languages and these were all of the languages supported by it. Let's take a quick look at all of the watch faces. Most of the watch faces are perfectly designed to suit the style of the smartwatch. We have sweeping seconds hand on the pointer dial watch faces. In the control center we have the lock watch face option. But it is quite annoying because whenever you will accidentally rotate the crown key, it will show you this prompt that the dial is locked. And since it's an insensible knob key, so it is quite easy to rotate it accidentally. After that on the home screen we get the control center it has a lot of options here then we have the quick access page or the widgets page here it has many widgets shown here from right to left we have the quick access applications and from bottom to top we have the notifications talking about the screen timeout if you scroll all the way down we have the 60 seconds or normally on option which means the display can stay on forever until the battery dies we also get the screen of dial option in it and the screen of dial turns on when the normal screen time ends or you can manually press the side key to turn off the display or to to turn on the screen of dial. Here if you check out the normally on time, it also has the normally on option which means the screen of dial can also stay on forever until the battery dies. It also has the palm gesture to turn off the display and it also has the wrist wake gesture to turn off the display and to turn it back on. You can turn both these options on or off by going to settings and here scrolling down here we have the cover the screen to turn off the display and here we have lift wrist to wake up the display. You can also set the time directly in the smartwatch and it supports 12 hour as well as 24 hours clock format. You can also add a passcode in the smartwatch. In this sound and vibration, we have the option to turn the sound and vibration on or off and here we have the vibration intensity option. If you talk about the menu styles, it comes with a custom theme that I really like. It also looks really smooth. So let's take a quick look at all of the menu styles.
So these were all of the menu styles and now it is time to talk about the watch application. It is using the HD Fit Pro application in which we have the mind tab from where you can set up your profile. We have the health report here then we have the my data. We have personal data option then we have the sports tab using which you can use the movement track option in the smartwatch then you can save the path and data of your outdoor run. And here we have the home tab which stores all of your health data. In the equipment tab we have the S30 Max detected here. First of all we have the watch face market. It includes a lot of watch faces in the dial market and all of them are available for totally free if you do not like the watch faces available here you can go to the custom section to use your own picture from the gallery here we have the picture dial option from where you can use one picture as a custom watch face while in the album dial option you can use multiple pictures let's try the album dial option first of all you'll have to select three pictures so now i have selected three pictures after that tap on finish then you can select either white or red phone color from here and here we have the time position option then you can scroll down and tap on the install button Button. Now it is done pushing the dial. Once the album dial is pushed, you can tap on the watch face to change the picture. After that we have the remote camera option using which you can use the smartwatch as a bluetooth shutter button and click pictures directly using it. Then we have the find device option using which the smartwatch will start to vibrate so you can easily find it and the vibration intensity is quite strong. In the applications menu we also have the find phone option using which the smartphone will start to ring and vibrate so you can easily find it. Then we have the reminders option. We have the call reminder here, SMS, health and message reminder. In message reminders, we have a lot of applications and it also has the other option here, which means even if an application isn't listed here, it can still send you the notifications for it. It does not have to specifically include all of the installed applications on your smartphone but includes most of the main ones. It doesn't wake up the display when you receive a new notification. Here's how the notification is shown in the notification center. It is shown in another language. So here's the message I sent. When the display is turned on, it shows a banner prompt, but it does not support scrolling in a longer notification and also does not support images. After that, we have other settings in which we have heart rate measurement. Then we have the sync time option. As I showed earlier, it supports 12 hour as well as 24 hours clock format. And then we have the unit settings and the temperature unit. Talking about the temperature, unit you can also push weather updates to the smartwatch it shows the weather right now the high and lows of the current day and also the weather for the upcoming days you can also sync your favorite contacts in the smartwatch and add up to eight commonly used contacts using the business card option you can save qr cards of different applications and then anyone can scan that qr code to directly access your social profile and after that we also have the wallet option here by which you can add the qr codes of these payment applications and just like social profiles anyone can scan the qr code of your payment application to directly access your payment profile. We also have the NFC option here. You can also use the smartphone as an NFC access card to unlock doors. And if you use the Apple shortcuts application, then as far as I've checked, the smartwatch can also be used as an NFC tag. You can also connect the application with Apple Health. After that, the smartwatch comes with 4GB of local storage, using which you can add local music inside it. So I've added two songs inside it, and this option is working really well in it. Using it, you can listen to songs directly on the smartwatch, and not just that, here we have the Bluetooth option. Using this option, you can connect with your wireless earbuds and use the smartwatch as an MP3 player anywhere, anytime. Then you can also save ebooks inside it and add TXT files in the smartwatch. Smartwatch. And here is how the TXT file will be shown so you can take advantage of this feature and store grocery list or your pins in the smartwatch. Then you can also add pictures in it. Here we have the photo album application. Here it is showing all of the pictures and if I choose any of the picture you can also tap on it and set it as a custom watch face directly in the smartwatch. So using this option you can store as many pictures as you want in the smartwatch and use them as a custom watch face whenever you want. After that we have the navigation option but it doesn't seem to work here in Pakistan so I probably can test it and in the end we have the firmware upgrade option but I have the smartwatch for about a month now and I haven't received any firmware updates since then. And in the end, taking advantage of the storage, we have the record option here by which you can record sound directly on the smartwatch and here it is showing that it can still record the time for 1 hour and 40 minutes. After that, the file is stored in the smartwatch and unfortunately, there is no way to transfer it to the smartphone. The smartwatch also supports Bluetooth calling. You can enable it by using this control center icon. Just tap on it to enable it. After that, you can access the phone application and you can call any number directly from the smartwatch and you can also receive calls directly on it. It rings as well as vibrates on the incoming call and also shows the name of the caller. And when we accept the call, we have the option to adjust the volume level here and the mute button here. It does not have the option to transfer the call to the smartphone and back to the smartwatch. And in the end, you can hang up the call from here. And it also comes with gesture control to accept the calls. 
After that, using Bluetooth calling, you can also access the voice assistant directly on it. How's the weather today? Expect cloudy skies today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 36 degrees, with overnight lows around 20. And the volume level is quite loud and quite clear to be heard properly. In the end, talking about the music application, you can also use it to control the media playing on the device. For that, make sure that you have selected mobile music here. And here we have the play pause option. Using it, the sound will start to play on the smartwatch. And unfortunately, there is no way to control the media playing on the device without shifting the sound to the smartwatch. And now it is time to talk about the rest of the applications. For that, I'm gonna switch to list view. So first of all, we have the pedometer here, which keeps a track of your steps. So let me take a few steps in the room to see if pedometer works fine or not. So I am back now. So I took around 40 steps in the room and it counted 42 steps. So it was quite accurate. I was holding the smartphone still in my hands during this whole time. But do remember that it was just casual walking in the room and the results might vary when walking or running outside. After that, talking about the health related applications, we get heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, then pressure, body temperature and blood sugar level checker inside it. And if you do the proximity sensor and wear detection test, then if you use it in the ear, it refuses to the data that please wear the watch to measure the data and if you keep it on the table it still gives the error that please wear the watch and if you try measuring the data on a soft cloth then it actually starts to give values in a few seconds which means it has wear detection as well as proximity sensor but the wear detection requires a little optimization so that it won't measure the data on a soft cloth then we have a lot of sport modes inside it there are many listed here so you can tap on any of them to start it and it will directly start the sport mode it does not have the option to customize the calorie target the time target or the distance target. After that we have sleep tracker but since weight detection does not work perfectly fine so I wouldn't actually trust it. In the breed training we have the option to customize the speed and the time. We have the MET data then we have an application specifically for the females. To get the application working you can set up your profile in the watch application. Then here is the stopwatch application. You can tap here to start the stopwatch and then whichever key you will press it will directly stop the stopwatch and reset it to zero. And you cannot go back while using the stopwatch. While the stopwatch is running, you can tap here to add laps and when you will pause it, you cannot take a look at all of the laps, it will only show the last two laps. You can also add alarms directly in the smartwatch, so let's go ahead and set an alarm. After setting the alarm, we have the option of snooze here and here we have the repeat option, so let's turn it on and let's wait for it. And here is how the alarm is shown, it only vibrates, it does not ring. Here we have the stop and snooze option then we have the calculator application in which we have the basic functionalities like multiplication division subtraction and addition then here we have calendar and you can also use the crown key to access the calendar for the upcoming months as well as the previous months here we have the compass application then we get games inside it we have 2048 asuka and Sokoban game. We have barometer and altimeter. So to get the correct values, you will have to connect your smartwatch to the smartphone. And in the end, we have app center, which has ebooks and record option that I've already shown you, and the quick answer option by which you can use gesture control to accept the calls. In the end, it is advertised to come with a battery capacity of 420 mAh which can be charged using the wireless charger provided in the box and as advertised, it can give you 3 to 4 days on normal usage and 7 to 10 days on standby. But this usage is without the screen of tile enabled forever because since it does not have AMOLED display and has IPS display, so using the screen of tile for a longer period of time will drain a lot of battery and I don't think that the smartwatch will be able to give you more than 4 to 5 hours. So in my opinion, the smartwatch does have a huge battery but is missing an AMOLED display for an amazing battery life. So guys, this was all from today's video and from the S13 Max smartwatch. Overall, the smartwatch looks really good. It has a great look. I really like the style and the strap style and also both of the color combinations. In my opinion, it would have been a great smartwatch if it also had the AMOLED display. It comes with a lot of features inside it, has many sport modes. The watch application also looks really good. I haven't faced any disconnectivity issue also so far, but an AMOLED display would have been a great addition. And in the newer version of this mode, I would love to see an AMOLED display. What is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you would like to place an order, I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below. And I would really appreciate if you can use that link to purchase the smartwatch. You can also visit the channel to find many related videos like this. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for the upcoming videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, this is iMat. Peace.